Hey, this is Tim, a solution engineer at Okta. Today, I want to show you how to use the AWS CLI with Okta. I already integrated the AWS ERM Identity Center with Okta. To prove that I don't have any credentials, I use AWS S3 LS. You can see there's no credentials. To sign in to Okta, I use AWS Configure SSO. The first is the session name, I use Okta. The next is the SSO start URL. I already prepared it, but I'll show you in the next step how to get this value. The region, I go with EU Central 1 and the registration scope. Before I continue, I want to make sure that it's using this browser window here, so you can see it on the video. So when I click enter, the CLI will automatically open my browser window here. And you can see there was a small screen that it says it redirects me to my identity provider. So here I can sign in with Okta. So this is the typical flow that you have. You can use Okta FastPass, um, no matter how you have set it up. In my case, I, I use the Okta Verify application running on my device here. So this is a completely passwordless approach. I don't have to enter any username or password. I just use my fingerprint sensor here on the touch ID and it will be automatically signed in. I have to give the consent that I allowed it and I'm authenticated. Back at the CLI, you can see that this user has five different roles. So I assume the role of the administrator access. I go with the EU central one region again. And I call this the default profile. And now if I use AWS at 3 LS, you can see that I have access and valid credentials. How do I get this um, SSO start URL? When you go to your Okta tenant, at your dashboard, you will have an application called the AWS ERM Identity Center. I have a policy to authenticate myself. So I use the touch ID to sign in. Here's a list of all your AWS accounts. I only have one account. And here you can also see the five different roles I can assume. So to get the URL, you can either go to your browser window and you can copy the URL here. Another way is that you select the role you want to assume and you click on command line or programmatic access. And here it provides also the start URL. There's also three different ways to access the CLI as well. Um, you can um, use one of them. Um, before I upload this video, I will make sure that those credentials will be invaded. That's it. If you have any more questions, please reach out to me. You can reach me at timlotter at octa.com.